Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And most of you guys know that I am absolutely in love with the Tami Tanuka Sigil inspired pigments. So I thought that I would do a small shopping guide for how to get a hold of those pigments. Uh, I, by the way, press mine, so mine are stored in my uh, palettes like this. So if you're interested in seeing more about that, then I will leave a card up here. And I will also leave a link down in my description box to the two videos that I have up where I press them. And uh, as you can see, I'm just going to show you quite quickly right now that there are different sizes that you can buy. And for example, if you see, uh, these ones are not the Samitanika ones, but this one, for example, comes from a set that they had where it's like 0.25 milliliters or something. So it barely uh, covers the pan. But then again, I have, for example, this pigment, which is one milliliter and it's half the pan. This one is almost a full pan and it's also one milliliter. And I also have some 0.5 milliliter pigments. I think this one, for example, is that. This one is Pata Cake, I believe it's called. And it's a little bit more than covering the pan. So just so you're aware of that, that the different um, sizes, they might look different because of the sizes of the mica in the pigment, <laughs> if that makes any sense for you guys. Um, so just don't be disappointed if you get little product because that's the whole point of these small sample sizes. It's that you can try it first and then you can buy a bigger version of it in the future if you want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by showing you, I guess, the Etsy page because you can purchase the pigments from the Etsy page, which is like super simple. And I'm just going to show you right here. You just go to Sigil Inspired and then you will have 479 products to choose from, which is less than in her own Russian website, which you can translate. <laughs> but anyway, this is like super simple. I don't think I'm going to show you much more here. But let's just go straight into the Tami Tanuka page. So I'm just going to go to sigil.me and this is what you will get. As you can see, mine is already in English, but if yours is not, then you can just press the big red EN button right here and it will go to English. And then I always just go straight to the list of shades right here. And then you will get all of the products list down here. As you can see, it's total found 805. So we have 805 different pigments to choose from, which is a lot. <laughs> what I also really like about this page is that you can filter so you can filter for the finish, glitter, shimmer, for example. That's what I've been doing to sort of narrow down the pigments that I want to buy. Because there's a lot, like 800 pigments. Some of them are nail polishes, I think. So not all of them are pigments, but still there's a lot to choose from. So you can like choose the color, the complexity. She writes a lot about the different pigments and how they are to use, like about how big the mica is, if you need a glitter glue or if you can just moist your brush with some setting spray or something. So I'll just show you here as an example. You have here it's a color description. She always has a very nice description of all of the colors so you will know what you get. Then you have here the recommendation for use. And here she says, for a more intense color, apply eyeshadow using a flat brush with a patting motion on a cream base, primer, foundation, or eyeliner of chosen color. It's possible to use a wet technique with a wet brush on a wet skin or with a makeup fixator. And then you also have the ingredients and the different packaging types. And that's also something to keep in mind when you're shopping here. It is that you can buy different sizes. Here you see that it's in Russian again. <laughs> But as uh, you can see, this is the sample size. What I always buy, it's one milliliter. It's perfect for pressing. As you can see, that covers the pan. The ones that are 0.5 don't always do that. Not all of the shadows have 0.5 as an option either. It's more of the expensive ones. <laughs> but as you can see here, it's 250 Russian rubles for one milliliter. So I'm just going to show you here. 250, that's about 3.40. United States dollars, but you could also get the more expensive ones that are about 500 Russian rubles for only 0.5 milliliters. And it's just enough to cover the pan if you want to pan or like press your pigments. Obviously you don't have to do that. And then you can just buy 
the smallest size, but if you want to press them, I recommend you to get one milliliter. But anyway, if they cost 500 Russian rubles, that's about $7. So back here, um, I'm just going to continue here on the actual list of shades and show you something else that I love about this page. It is the fact that you, when you scroll down, you can like see all of the different colors. But when you see something you're like really interested in, you can just go straight here and press and you will see all of the other photos that exist of that pigment instead of opening a whole new tab. And I just love that for scrolling through and finding your products that you want to buy. It's just so much more practical in my opinion. And also the more you scroll downwards, you will just get more and more pigments. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down because she has a lot of multichrome pigments as well. Those are the more expensive ones and I don't really think I have any of them. But I just wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of you are into multichromes and they're super expensive on other pages. But from this website, from Tamitanuka, you can buy them as pigments, not as pressed, of course. And you can buy smaller sizes. Here you're going to see some of them. So these are like super multichrome, red, orange, golden, pale, green, chromatic. You can like even see the description of the colors right here. And as you can see, these start out from 500. So that's about $7 for the smaller size. But as I showed you, like it still covers up this is like 0.5 milliliter and it still covers the pan. This one I've swatched like two or three times and I've used it on my eye once and I still have quite a bit of product left. So if you just want to try different kinds of colors then I think this is great. Especially since multichromes are usually like so expensive. Here you can just buy smaller sizes, try more colors and then you can rather just repurchase the ones that you see are most intriguing to you. So I just really wanted to show you guys that. So now that we have most of the explanation out of the way, um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below, but I'm just going to go straight through, straight to my wish list from Tammy Tanuka. Before I move on, I do also want to quickly mention how I keep an order of my wish list. It is just that I make a Tammy Tanuka wish list a map in my bookmarks. And that is also a great way to keep a track of your orders by placing all of the links in a map for, for example, order one, order two. Because, of course, the pigments have the names in Russian when they arrive. So if you want to have the English names, I recommend you to immediately when you get your order to find the correct English names and just have the links there because then you can find it in English and in Russian, of course. So that's just the way I do it. So here, as you can see, the first one is the shade Caretaker of Sunny Woods, which is more of a shimmery, I think it's more of a shimmery kind of texture. I don't know, I don't have it obviously since it's on my wish list, but this is so gorgeous. It's like a green to blue and it's, mm, it's probably going to be one of my next purchases, I believe. Then we have here a supremely salient person. This one has been on my wish list for a long time and I still haven't picked it up. I think it looks very beautiful, but I still have a lot of similar ones already. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to pick this up um, very soon. <laughs> and uh, then you have here, it's the next one. I'm sorry that it's not on the first photo, but I tried to do this earlier, but my screen uh, casting stuff didn't work. <laughs> but this one is Maritime pilot and as you can see this one has a sample price of one milliliter 250 rubles really cheap it's about three dollars so beautiful pigment it looks like a ocean blue with almost a hint of green like really gorgeous and here we have another one which is very exciting it's called queen of cups it has sort of like a bluish purple base and then lots of green sparkles to it so you can see it says moderate complexity, so that tells you a bit about the actual texture of the shadow. But I think this looks really pretty and I would just love to have more colors like that. <laughs> I think especially for like fall, this one would be really beautiful. And I think I forgot to show you earlier, but you can just scroll down like, like this on the page and you will see all of the photos in full size. And then for the next one, Dark Moon Creator. This one I've been stopping at so many times. As you can see, this one is more expensive. So for one milliliter, it's 900 Russian rubles. I'm going to check how much that is again, because I don't really remember. So for the sample size or the bigger size, 
yeah so that's about twelve dollars so that's relatively expensive um, but still it's like I could I could still press it with just 0 0.5 least just to try out the shade because I don't need that much product I'm not going to have time to use all of the pigments that I have anyway so <laughs> it's better to just have a smaller size but this one looks really beautiful as you can see there's not that many photos down here so <laughs> but then again we have here beautiful stranger it's a gorgeous more turquoisey pigment so so stunning this would be perfect now for spring and summer Maybe I will buy this on my next purchase. I don't know. I don't know when my next purchase will be. So you can see it's a little bit more flaky, but I really like that because then you have a bit more higher shine since you have a bigger like surface of the particles that shines. Um, yeah, it says here that it's recommended to apply on a sticky eyeshadow base. So perfect for me. <laughs> the next one here is like just a peachy Gorgeous shade. Warmer, lighter and shinier compared to the Strawberry Virtuoso. I actually have that. It's the one right here. It's more pink and it has a very yellow shift. I don't know if you can see so. But this one looks a lot more peachier in my opinion. So I think this one is very gorgeous and it's not on the top of my wish list, but it's one I will maybe purchase in the future. And I have a lot of purples coming now. <laughs> So this one is Precious Wife, as you can see from the finger swatches here. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I would love this with a, like any kind of purple look. Just look here at the beautiful light blue sparkles, it's gorgeous. Next one too, this has more of, like even more blue sparkles to it. Super, super pretty. We don't have a photo here of how it looks on the eye though, but you can see this is so gorgeous. Reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Luxy Beauty in the shade Charmed, I think. I think it's Charmed. Or Lofty from Cleona, for example. A little bit more with that blue, but these are more sparkly, of course, since they're pigments. And then here we have Magical Silk Spinner. This one is quite expensive. Um, for 0 0.5 it costs 500, and of course it costs more for the one milliliter size. And it doesn't look too special, but it's pretty. <laughs> But because I want to just purchase one milliliter uh, pigments from now on, just so it's easier to press them, might not be getting this. This one I've had on my wish list for the longest, called The Artist. It's just a very light pink one with a tiny golden sheen to it, I guess. Could just always go down to the description here to see the color. <laughs> a shade riddled with small, almost pink mica, silvery peach pink. Perfect description. <laughs> As you can see, this is just gorgeous. You could use it as an inner corner highlight. You can use it on the middle of the lid or... Yeah, it's just such a versatile color in my opinion. I would just really love to have this. It's probably going on my next purchase from them. <laughs> and this one too is just so, so gorgeous. It's called the Bestiary Reader. I just love all of the different names for the pigments. They're just like so fun and... Some of them are like so enchanting and like ethereal and then you have some that are more dark and yeah reminds you more of like uh, I don't know like these books of uh, I would say science fiction but you know like The Hobbit, Harry Potter those kinds of things and then we have the next ones my internet is failing me this one oh yeah I thought I bought this one already but I didn't <laughs> which made me a bit sad. This one looks so, so cute. Would have been perfect for Easter, for example. She was born in the crocus flowers, it's called. Looks beautiful. It's more of a shimmery finish, so this is one you could probably just use with a wet brush. So, so pretty. I love it. <laughs> I wish I bought this. Then here we have Sweet Morning Dew. It's basically just a light lilac-y, shimmery, kind of sparkly pigment. I'm just in love with those. I have to like narrow down all of these purples, I feel like, but they're just all so, so pretty. <laughs> so this one I've also wanted to buy. I saw someone use it. It's called The Naughty Novice, and it's just one of these oh, gorgeous green, brownish, but this one has more of a red base, I feel like. It's just so pretty. I have so many similar ones before, like Asteria from Davina is probably super similar to this one. I just cannot get enough of them. And you see this one has almost like a purple shift to it too. 
so pretty and just look at the product photos i wish i could do photos like this you see that like the the lighting is very dark so that's probably how she gets it like so stunning like how she captures all of the shifts this one i also thought that i had bought but i hadn't but i have bought someone some of the pigments that are super super similar so i'm really excited to get those because i haven't gotten my last package yet but i just wanted more like of these inner corner shades so if you haven't checked out tamitanuka instead of like um waiting for them to restock at for example the vina the shoe exploders or the other ones that were new you can just go here and see because they have they're so so similar like i have several ones here that are so similar to those divina ones i'm just going to zoom you in so you can see this is called flamingo tears and it's like one of those sparkly ones with a pink shift and these are so cheap as well just look at that so just a small recommendation if you want some of those colors just go to Tamatanuka and you will find them in stock <laughs> okay and then queen of hearts this one is going to come on my next order i'm sure of it because i need a sparkly shimmery red i already bought one of their shimmery reds but this one is not super sparkly so i want one that is even more sparkly because i figured out when i was doing my aries um custom palette that i didn't have any true true red shimmers so this one, the Queen of Hearts, is definitely going there. This one you can't even see any more photos of it, but I just see from here that it's so pretty, so I really want it. <laughs> and you can see one milliliter is 500 rubles, about seven dollars, so that's that's fine by me. I'm probably going to get this soon. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to come to the newer shades that she didn't have before. These are more expensive, but these are so beautiful, so I'm going to get them no matter the price. Like, look at that so beautiful <laughs> i cannot even oh my god it has like purple specks it's very textured which i love i'm going to get sweet cheeks one day i am probably my next order <laughs> and then here we have a bombardier which is also it's a bit more simpler in the formula as you can see it's also cheaper it's just 250 for one milliliter and this one is just a gorgeous peachy shimmery delicious shade i i need this too <laughs> and here okay this one was the one that i saw on her instagram and i was like i need this handful of freckles it's so freaking cute it has a lime green shift to it which i am such a sucker for and it's super sparkly like just look at that it looks like molten metal but with like all of these different colors to it it's so beautiful even though this is more expensive i'm going to get this some of the shades are just like i'm gonna get this no matter what and it's not like super super expensive anyways it's like 11 dollars or something so it's not that bad here we have pecking hearts which looks like a beautiful almost slate gray but blue and some purples <laughs> let's see it says silver and purple yeah so this one looks really pretty and i I really like it but it's probably not on the top of my wish list because it's not the kind of colors that i gravitate towards right now but then this one oh i need this for summer keeper of a heartbeat i think it was also like from the description that she had of it sea and sand together in one shade blue waves wa washing over the golden sand the timid bliss in warm waters this is stunning and i just love the kind of texture of the exactly this type of formula because it's like smooth, but super sparkly. <laughs> oh, I just love this. Just look at how beautiful that is. Now to the last one. This is actually the last one that I put into my wish list. Like wish list. Oh, I cannot speak. <laughs> but here you can see the head of clan. It doesn't look that special right here. But I saw a picture on Instagram of someone using this. And I was like, what is that? And I had to like Google all of the different... Uh, or go to here to search for all of the different ones that were mentioned and just look here look here it's so beautiful imagine this for fall it's almost like the color that i have on my eye this is so beautiful a dark marshy shade of reddish inclusions can be seen under artificial light it's just the most beautiful antique golden almost green 
metally. Oh, it's so pretty. This is definitely going into my next order for sure. And that, you guys, actually concludes all of my wish list items. They're so pretty, all of them. I'm probably not going to order all of them the next order that I do, but maybe half. <laughs> it's better for me to like order as much as possible at the same time because then you pay less in shipping. I believe even though the shipping rate, I haven't even showed you that yet. I can just add this one to my cart right here. Um, so now I already have another one also in my cart just because I was trying to film earlier as I said. But here you can see uh, how to go to the checkout. You just press proceed promo code. I don't think there exists anyone as far as I know. Um, but then here we of course have all of my info. <laughs> But you will see the shipping price right here, but you also have to double check down here because it can't be on countrywide via Russian Post because that's only for people living in Russia, so you have to choose the worldwide option. So 400 rubles, how much is that in dollars? 544, so it's like $5 for shipping from Russia. That's like nothing. And I know that I paid more for the, like the, bigger the order, the more you pay for shipping, but it was still not super bad, especially not since I'm like used to paying a lot. Um, but yeah, you basically just have to go through all of this. You have to choose here if you want a simple package because she like packages, she packs them like as if they were gifts, like with beautiful ribbons and pearls and everything. So you should like, I try to be kind and choose simple package but the first ones I ordered normal and they were so beautiful <laughs> um, but yeah the hardest part actually with ordering from Tami Tanuka was creating my account so definitely create your account first because I was struggling so hard with putting my phone number in there and my phone number is now registered like this this is not my number <laughs> my number consists of eight digits plus the country code of two digits but it was not possible because it wanted so many numbers so I don't know where those other numbers came from but they're there <laughs> so it's not my phone number but it works I haven't had any problems with any of my orders she does send them I think what's called in Norwegian it's recommended so that means that they're like um, they're being extra tracked or something I don't know at least it's very safe to order that way and she sends them as a gift I believe um, but I mean, it is a gift. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. And honestly, as soon as you have your account and everything in there, it was a bit of a hustle, but as soon as you have that, it's super easy to order, I swear. So, so easy. You just press proceed and then you're like, confirm the order. Like that's how easy it is once you have your account register. So please do that first. Then you can enjoy your shopping experience by looking at all of these gorgeous shades that they have to offer. Oh, and just uh, before I get to mention it, the shipping time is about like one month or something. I have had some ooh, some packages arriving a little bit faster and when I ordered during the Black Friday sale it took maybe almost, not two months, but maybe one and a half months, so it does take a little bit of time. But now it's like low season, so it doesn't take more than one month here, I think. So that is the, the end of this video, I guess. <laughs> it's probably a very long video, but I love Tami Tanuka. I just wanted to show you guys how to order from them because a lot of you are missing out on them because you don't want to order there. Of course, if you don't still don't want to, that's up to you and I totally respect that. But I just wanted to show you that the page is actually quite good as long as you get your account registered. So... Yeah, I hope that it was helpful for you and that you also liked my little wish list, my little, my big wish list. <laughs> and yeah, I will also leave a link down below to all of my other swatching videos of the pigments that I already have if you need some inspiration for what kind of colors you want to pick up. Because I already have quite a few and I have several, I think I have 14 more coming in the mail. And then it's my wish list included. Ooh, I love the pigments, okay? <laughs> Anyway, that's the end. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below on how I can improve this kind of video. I know the information was kind of spread, but that's just how I am. I'm a mess, okay? 
<laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.